morning. I'm Katie Frederick. I am the owner of Applied Solutions Consulting, ASC. I am an occupational hygiene and safety technician. I'm a member of the VBRA, and I'm the project chair for the Remodelers Council. Speaking to you this morning, a couple of things about COVID safety if you're heading back to work. Okay, so some of the main points I wanted to touch upon for COVID safety. First of all, the AGC has put out a great plan to help employers get out there safely. And a couple of key points in that plan are you need to provide training to your employees. OSHA has put out a great PDF. It's available online. Make sure that you go through that with your crews, read out the employee training, and print the certificates at the end. There are also requirements for job site um, job site COVID safety. For example, if you're on a job site, please make sure that you have an area for sanitizing. That's really important. You want to make sure that you have the, the crews available to go and be able to go and disinfect their hands, wash their hands, clean their tools. Another main point I want to point out is the point is the, the need for, to have a COVID safety resource officer. This is also called the health officer. This person does not need to have certified safety training to be a safety officer for COVID. However, this person really should have extra experience in dealing with potential COVID cases. This person's responsible for keeping the PPE stocked, gloves, um, sanitizer, make sure that there's space coverings that you have that are available. Now, you don't need to use the N95 respirators. Those are not required as part of your face covering. That is a respirator. It's used for other purposes. It does not need to be an N95 face mask. You can use a cloth, a face covering. That's totally fine. Just as long as you have something over your mouth to cover your nose and your mouth. Also, please make sure that you're not touching your eyes. If you're removing your safety glasses, make sure that you're keeping your hands clean so you're not touching your eyes with your hands after working on site. Now, a COVID safety plan is called a COVID-19 exposure control plan. This is a requirement for those crews that are heading out to work. Now, this is a requirement for companies that have 10 employees or more at one physical location. So if you're a small crew of three, make sure that you have your PPE. Somebody's in charge of making sure your hand sanitizer is stocked, but that person is can be deemed the health officer for your crew and you do not need to create an entire exposure control plan. It's great to have one. I highly recommend that you create one that's small for your crew and it's available for them to look at should they have questions about COVID-19 safety. Now, VOSHA has spoken out about going out to inspect job sites, making sure that COVID-19 safety officers are providing disinfecting stations, the PPE, that the employees have training. This is mostly going to come as a result of people calling VOSHA and saying that job site XYZ is not adhering to COVID-19 safety procedures. Please, please be sure that you have your disinfectant, your PPE, like I said, can't have enough of it, and it's always visible to everybody that's working on site. So VOSHA will be out inspecting job sites as they normally would in COVID-19 safety plans and procedures are definitely gonna be a big part of that inspection. Now, having a COVID safety plan is great. It does complement already your health and safety plan. You really should have a robust health and safety plan if you're out in the field, in the trades, climbing on ladders, um, working at height, roofing, cutting stone, uh, masonry, you're up in trees, you really need to have this health and safety program that is going to include COVID-19 safety. Please be sure that you include that training with your employees to make sure that they're all on board with what the social distancing, the hand sanitizing, the face covering, and just the general ongoing disinfection of tools, heavy equipment. Those things are really, really, really going to be important for you to get back out there safely. So as a safety professional, I'm happy to answer any questions VBRA members may have about what, requir what requirements are needed to get back out there. 
to be sure that you're in compliance with all of the VOSHA, CDC, ACCD, AGC, all of those fun acronyms. Make sure you're in compliance. ASC is able to help with any part of that. If you need a COVID exposure plan, I create those. I tailor them to each individual client. I'm happy to work with you and your company. I just want to be sure that everybody's out there working safely and getting back to work. Uh, Katie Frederick from ASC, happy to help at any time.